Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Derber with my wife, Alberta Derber. And we're just delighted to be able to share with you in the truths of God's word once again. Luke 1 37 says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. And it's a wonderful Wednesday, April 29th. Good wonderful things are Wednesday. wonderful Wednesday. It's a wonderful life. It is a wonderful Who was it? Was it uh, Jimmy, James Stewart or whatever had that movie? That movie. It's a wonderful life or something. That, Before my time. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is a wonderful life. It is. When only, you know Jesus. only when you know Jesus. We pastor Faith Victory Church right here in town, 122 East Broadway, and and uh, we're, we're having a, a great time. You can check us out if you don't know about us at, on our website, faithvictorychurch.us. And if any time... Uh, during this program or after the program, you need prayer. You can call our prayer line. It, it's uh, five nine seven help, and uh, which is four three five seven. And uh, we're speaking and <laughs> teaching and and having a good time out of a devotional we wrote called "The Way to Righteousness." And uh, Alberta and I we wrote this uh, a few years back. And it's helped many a person. And that's what we've been doing. And I hope, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know what time you're viewing this. We come on three times a day, 1030, 530, uh, and 1030 again at night. So whatever's convenient for you or, or set your DVR, but uh, preferably uh, you're able to maybe uh, start your day with this. But, uh, you know, some people work third shift. I did, and and or you know their their timing is different. They uh, they wake up, and their morning time is in in, in the afternoon or whatever. But uh, we're we're on the subject of righteousness. What a what a game changer mm -hmm. this is when uh, we discovered this powerful powerful truth, and uh, it's something that. Uh, as a born again believer, we need to realize to. and live in, and it's a righteousness which is of faith. There it is. So faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God, and Romans ten seventeen. And if you don't have a constant dose of righteousness revelation, hearing it, your new creation reality can begin to slip, and all of a sudden you start. Uh, beating yourself up, you start uh, disqualifying yourself, and so on and so forth. So, uh, Alberta, would you do the honors, April 29th? Okay. Now, this is scripture is from Isaiah 63, verse 1. It says, Who is this that cometh? I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Well, that's <laughs> That's good right there. Hallelujah. Remember this. The language of the kingdom of God is righteousness. Ha. I remember just not too long ago, the Lord told me that when you come into the kingdom, you have to start learning a foreign language. Yeah. So it's totally foreign. Well, it's a, it's our native language, yeah. but it's foreign to us. Yes. Until we learn it. Mm -hmm. you know. Um. That is how God talks, and that is how he wants us to talk. Anything <laughs> anything other than that is foreign. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, when a Christian is using the language of unworthiness or I'm just an old sinner, it stops Father God's mighty to save in their lives. But if whoa, 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 whoa. It stops God mighty to save. Now, he is now, mighty to save. Well, well, let's, let's, let's talk about that a moment. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of people, when, when they see mighty to save, they just think that that means mighty to save as in yeah. forgiveness of sin, yeah. being born again. When there's been many times uh, I've, need, I've needed God to save me, not a new the new birth but i was in i remember when we were in debt and and we had the bill collectors calling the irs breathing down our 
next and all that stuff. And it's like, I remember when the church was three months behind on the mortgage and all this stuff was hitting us at one time. And, you know, of course, that was over two decades ago. We're debt free now, church debt free. But boy, I mean, that we needed God to say, now watch this. And the enemy, the devil, was telling me, you're just a failure. You, you, you think you can pass it. Look, at, look what's going on. They're going to come and take the keys away to the church. And there you are. You're preaching prosperity. You're preaching that God's a good God. And there you are. You can't even, you can't even uh, pay, pay the interest on your credit card. Blah, 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 blah. And you know, if 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 we hadn't learned that we were righteous, and and that was happening around the same time, yeah. If we hadn't heard that we were righteous and and and, and developed that, it. yeah, you got to Watch this now. That everything around me was trying to choke the life out of me. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's the good. Life right. right there. And Word. so, yeah, exactly. The new life. It was trying to choke the new life out of me. And there, and there we were, and uh, all of a sudden this failure mentality, all of a sudden this, uh, you know, you can't do this. You know, you, you just, you've always, look at your life. You was a 14-year drug addict, drunk. You, you've always uh, messed everything up. Everything you touch, you messed up. Now, see, that was closing in on me. Oh, yeah. But new creation realities, and I needed God to save. See, and I, you know, I went to God, and God would, God would, He would jerk me around. You're my son. Don't be, don't, you know, you were talking about uh, yesterday or the day before about the dog, you know, coming, uh, coming all beat up before its master, you know, just kind of crouching Fear. down. Right, right, right. But yet, understanding that if he, that dog, if he wants another meal, he's got to get it from the master's hand. I needed help. But that was not, that wasn't, that, I needed to be saved. And I'm not talking about being born again. We needed finances. We needed everything. Right? Well, the only way you can, you, you could uh, approach God, uh, yeah, you could approach him unworthy. You could approach him undeserved. And maybe because somebody is interceding for you, uh, God would uh, get you through it, and and and, and 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 you'd be in this. You'd have this survival mentality instead of overcoming mentality. But when I discovered I was the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, the righteous are as bold as a lion. As a lion, right? Lion. Yeah, right. And all of a sudden, I went boldly into the throne. I said, Lord. Hey, uh, you called me into this. You're the one who told us to give everything away. And I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm not a failure. I remember when, I remember one time, Alberta, God told me, God said to me, He said, He said, Philip, it's impossible for you to fail. <laughs> I said, I said it sure don't look like it to me. It looks like everything around me is failing. And I said, and I'm waiting because I knew he's going to explain this. He said, you know what you'd have to do to fail? And I'm listening because it looked like everything I was doing was failing. <laughs> he, he said, he said, for you to for you to fail, you'd have to stop tithing, stop confessing the word, so stop bad. believing me, stop praying, stop, stop reading your Bible, stop being a doer of the word. Oh, right? He said, You're not gonna do that. You're not gonna fail. No. You're not gonna fail. No way. And you know what? Impossible. We come right out of that mess, never to look back. Never to look back. And we've taught a lot of people how to do it. See? So go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna read that again. Oh, I know that God is mighty to save the sinner. I was one. But there have been many times in my Christian life that there will be and there will be many more where I needed a mighty to save a miracle. To receive those miracles, I must know how to speak the language of heaven, not the language of this world. You and I must speak out that we are the righteousness of God mm -hmm. and that our God is working on our behalf. That's right. We cannot afford to let any other language prevail. God says we are. Oh, wait a minute. 
Well, let me say something right there. I missed the whole sentence. There. Well, let, let me let me say something right there. Uh, there are many voices wow. in the world, and you know if you go in, to the mall when it's crowded, mm -hmm. here there's a lot of chatter, a lot of chatter. You know, uh, uh, especially if you go into the place uh, the where all the court. fast foods are. <laughs> yeah, the food court, food court right? Yeah. And weird. there's all these different kinds of foods. And, you know, you got Chinese, you got Mexican, you got Japanese, you got on and on Italian and so on and so forth. And you got all these different kinds of foods, different kinds of language and all this chatter going on. Right. But you may be over at uh, Chick-fil-A and I'm over there at the pizza place. And all of a sudden I hear you say, Philip, and I can hear your voice over all the chatter. Yeah. It's recognizable. Exactly. You know my voice. Yeah, exactly. And and Jesus said, my sheep know my, my voice. voice. Right? So that language uh, is vital in recognizing who's talking to you. Mm -hmm. Because in, in the realm of the spirit, there is no quality voice tone difference. No. I mean, if... if uh, uh, we had our staff in here, and th uh, they blindfolded us, and they started talking one by one. We'd be able to tell who was uh, talking because their voices are so different, and they're recognizable by their voice quality tone change. In the realm of spirit, there you don't have that. In other words, the devil can sound just like God. Right. Oh, yeah. So that's the importance of knowing this book right here. Because oh my the God. devil tries to sound like God. And, and he'll try to tell you the, re the reason you're sick is because you're no good. It's because what you, you did. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, and you sit there and you think that's what God. You didn't do. Yeah, exactly. And that's why we got to know what this says. See? Go ahead and read. You and I must speak out that we are the righteousness of God and that our God is working on our behalf. We cannot afford to let any other language prevail. Even though the devil tries to convince us that we are not righteous, God says we are. And if we want his mighty to save intervention, we must continue to speak the truth about ourselves according to God's word, even in the middle of the conflict. If we learn to do that, we will see God's hand consistently moving in our lives. Come on, let's learn heaven's language. Awake to righteousness and be mighty to save. You know, when we speak what God speaks, when we say what God says, you know, people call us arrogant and, you know, oh, you know, you're just so uh, conceited and high-minded. Yeah, I am high-minded. Praise the Lord. But when, you know, I'm not trying to convince anybody. I'm saying what God says. That's all. And mm -hmm. when I say what God says about me, I get what God has yeah. for me. Well, check, check this out, huh? It says in Romans chapter 10, verse 6, but the righteousness, which is of faith, yeah. speaketh. speaketh. And then it goes on to say in verse 9, see, a lot of times we use this verse to lead people yeah. to Jesus. Right. And that's wonderful. Yeah. But watch this. That if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, is verse 9, and shall believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Now watch. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, Confession is made unto salvation, verse 17. So then faith for that righteousness exactly. comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. In other words, uh, you believe you more than you believe anyone else. Absolutely. So this, this, you know, in context, he's talking about righteousness, He's not really talking about uh, just the new birth because he says in, in verse three, 
for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own their righteousness. Own righteousness. Now, see, when you don't know God's righteousness, oh, automatically you're going to come up with your own idea of that's righteousness. The majority of the church. Well, they, they confuse Still. righteousness and holiness. Yeah, righteousness is right standing. Holiness is right, right living. living. And I say this a lot. Righteousness is God's gift to yes. us. Holiness is our gift to God. To God. And it says here, for they being ignorant, that doesn't mean they're stupid, it's just they don't know what God's word says. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Oh, oh, now watch this. When you submit, that's why the Bible says submit to God resist the devil and he will flee submit to submit to God you have to submit to the righteousness of God no matter how you feel so I got to confess like it says I got to confess I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus even though even though I, I remember all the goofy stuff I remember and even after being born again you know how many times uh, have I sinned since being born again uh, numerous times getting mad mainly with my mouth saying stupid stuff. And you repent, but you still feel like, because you don't know enough yet. And that's when, just as soon as, you know, if we confess our sins, he is faithful. He's faithful. And just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us. From all. all. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Not just forgive us. Cleanse. The forgiveness, he he, he clears all that up. gets, Gets all that mess out. But then he cleanses us from all unrighteous to where we can think right. Do you know how, how ignorant it is of a person knowing that God says that to go, well, I know, I know what the Bible says, but I'm just so unworthy. I mean, I messed up. Hmm. That's, that's, that's. But I understand it. That's Oh, yeah, we understand it, but that's, that's. I understand right. it. That's why faith cometh by hearing. I remember when. I started teaching this years ago in the church. People were like, what is he saying? I got called in by leadership. And they said, what are you teaching in that church? And I had to break it down. And once I broke it down, they they realized that uh, what I was teaching was biblical. Yeah. And so. uh, They had to learn it themselves. Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Just because uh, they couldn't. Uh, prove it wrong didn't mean they had it i mean you, you know it's something that they had to adjust their lives to but righteousness reality is like being born again again yeah. it's 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 times of refreshing and that's why we we wrote this devotional uh to wake up awake to righteousness the bible says wake up there's a wake-up call of who you are and one day you and I are going to take our last breath if if uh, the catching away of the church doesn't happen prior to that, and we will wake up in his presence. We'll wake up in glory. We'll awake to righteousness in its fullness. But God wants us waking up right now. Yes. That's why he says, awake to righteousness and sin not. Now in heaven, you ain't going to be sinning. <laughs> exactly. See? So when he says awake to righteousness, he's saying wake up to the new creation reality. Learn. Yeah. And and start operating. Put on the new man. Put him on. Which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. See? And when you and I do this, when we start living uh, with that right standing mentality, oh my. Oh, you, you start carrying yourself different. Let me say something here. You know, when we, when we first got born again, um, we didn't have, you know, TV programs and things. But um, I came across a um, another uh, minister, ministry, and they had uh, daily devotionals like this on faith. And I was not, unlike my husband, who God would speak to every morning where to read, I didn't have that. So I was always, 
you know, struggling or I'd ask him, you know, like, where should I read? Until I really learned, but I used these devotionals every, every morning and it showed, it taught me how to get in the Bible and understand by these teachings, just like this book. You get this book and every morning, I suggest starting your morning. Some people like to do it every night before they go to bed, which is good. Also, it is, but I like to start my day in the morning and you start reading this. And you start seeing how we're talking to you about, about righteousness. You do that every morning. If that's all you do, and during the day, you pick that book up and read it again. And if you do that three months, you're going to oh, see a tremendous so change. So you by hearing. Exactly. Hearing by the word of God. I'd like to say something mm -hmm. here. I saw the need for a um, paperback because I like to travel with my books. And carrying a hardback is just, traveling is very weighty. So I wanted to get these paperbacks, and they're wonderful. We just started getting them. And I want to offer this book in the paperback to anyone who doesn't come to this church. This is not for our congregation. If you want this book, I'm going to give you this book free if you come to a service. You have to come in and sit in the service and tell us that you came to the service because you want this book free. And I'm going to offer the first 15 people that do that. They can have this book free and you will be so blessed and you'll be even more blessed coming to the service. Wow. Wow. Well, uh, you heard that. <laughs> and then they could read along with us every every day. It's powerful. Yeah, and you have that in front of you. And if you want to order a copy, you know, if you if you already have a church home or whatever, but you're you're liking this, uh, you can call our office eight seven five seven eight eight six, or you can go online. Yeah, and and order that. But Mom Alberta just said, and I heard her, the I first said. fifteen that comes to a church service comes wow. to church, and tell us when you come in. But you have to sit through the service. You don't get it till after the service. <laughs> hey. Hey. You'll be blessed. I mean, you know. And if you need prayer for anything, you know, we're believers in prayer. Uh, matter of fact, my wife uh, was watching one of the uh, just few ministries that had television program back in 1988. And we were in the middle of a divorce and she called uh, that ministry and our lives turned around after that phone call. And uh, we understand that. And, and God's in the business of doing miracles. He, he's a miracle working God. He's Absolutely. the same yesterday, Absolutely. today, and forever. He never changes what he's done in the Bible we're, we're watching miracles happen all the time. Remember that boy down there in Florida? He was born with a hole in his ear. Precious, precious little boy. Oh, my born deaf in his ear. And we were scheduled for surgery the yeah. next week and, and came up and wanted Such prayer. Yeah, and we prayed for him. And on the way home, <laughs> his, his mom said, well, what, what happened to you? He said, Mom, when that preacher, uh, when he prayed for me, I heard this big wind in May here. Yeah. yeah. And she said, and she said, what happened? She right. said, then everything went normal. normal. And and she thought he meant when when Still he said normal hear. that he was back deaf. And she said, You mean you can't hear no more? And she said, Mom, I hear everything. Totally healed by the fire of God. I, I and you know, I was deaf in, in one ear and God opened up my ear, you know, it just seemed like I have faith for ears. <laughs> Hallelujah. But, uh, hey, we have service uh, this Friday night at 7 o'clock. And uh, come on out and, and join in with our praise and worship and, and uh, you know, get your, get your copy uh, to await to righteousness. When, when Alberta says something like that, she means it. So uh, we're excited about what God's doing here in Frankfurt and in, in the lives of believers. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4, says where the word of a king is, there, there is power. power. Be a blessing.
Awake to Righteousness with a daily devotional by Drs. Philip and Alberta Derber. In this powerful devotional, you'll learn the different aspects of the righteousness or right standing that Jesus has provided. Get the reality of what Jesus has done deep down inside of you to the point that every day you awake to righteousness. Awake to Righteousness includes 365 daily devotions accompanied by a master key verse and a scriptural meditation for every day of the year. Get your Awake to Righteousness devotional today. You can order online at our website or give us a call at 502-875-7886. Power of Faith programs are available on YouTube 24-7, so you can watch from anywhere at any time. Search for Power of Faith on YouTube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith. Subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted. If you missed the episode or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you.